A Bronsted acid is a molecule that donates an H plus ion to a second molecule called the Bronsted base. The H plus ion is so important in these acid base reactions that we give it a nickname. We like to call it the proton. So another way that we could read this sentence here, a Bronsted acid donates a proton to a Bronsted base. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to classify or find the Bronsted acid and the Bronsted base in an acid base reaction. And we'll be starting with this reaction right here. In order to identify the Bronsted acid, the molecule that is donating the H+, we have to look at each one of the reactants individually and determine what's happening to them in the chemical reaction. Are they donating an H+, which would make them the acid, or are they receiving or accepting or taking the H+, which would make them the base? Now, I think the easiest way to go about doing this is to start with the first reactant in the equation, which in this case is HNO3, and follow this reactant over to the right-hand side of the chemical reaction. What does HNO3 turn itself into? Does it become the NO3 minus ion or does it become the H3O plus ion? In this situation, you just wanna use your intuition, use your common sense, find the product that most closely resembles HNO3 in terms of the atoms that are present. HNO3 turns into NO3 minus. Once we've determined that, the next thing that we have to do is figure out how does that transformation take place. HNO3 loses one of its hydrogens. It started with one. Now over here it has none. It also loses a positive charge. It goes from neutral down to a negative charge. This HNO3 molecule is donating an H plus or donating a proton, which makes it an acid. Let's do the same thing for our other reactant, H2O. Obviously, H2O is turning into H3O+. We're never going to have a situation where both of these molecules are turning into the same thing. That doesn't make sense. So the H2O is turning into H3O+. How is it doing that? It is adding or accepting or receiving a hydrogen. It's going from two hydrogens to three, and it's going from no charge to a plus one charge. Because it is receiving that hydrogen from HNO3, it is the base. In addition to classifying the reactants as acid and base, we can also classify the products of this reaction as well. The Bronsted acid turns into a molecule that we refer to as the conjugate base. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze that in over here, the conjugate base. The Bronsted acids always turn into the conjugate base. And then likewise, the Bronsted base turns into what we call the conjugate acid. So this is our conjugate acid. And together, we refer to these sets as acid-base pairs. So the acid, HNO3, and its conjugate, NO3-, minus, we refer to as a conjugate acid-base pair. And then also H2O and H3O plus is referred to as a conjugate acid-base pair. Let's take a look at our second example. NH NH4 plus, we want to follow it over to the right-hand side of the chemical equation, which one of these products looks the most like NH4 plus in terms of the number of atoms and type of atoms. We're going to match NH4 plus up with NH3 because that is what makes the most sense. And we'll be matching H2O with H3O plus. Now we need to analyze how NH4 plus turns into NH3. We can see that it is losing a hydrogen going from four down to three, losing a hydrogen or donating that hydrogen, that makes it the acid. And the NH3 plus is the conjugate base. Now let's do the same thing for H2O. H2O is turning into H3O plus, so it is gaining an H plus, which makes it a base. And H3O plus, therefore, is the conjugate acid. We've got one more example that we can look at down here, our last reaction, H2CO3. What does it turn into? Over on the right-hand side, it matches up the most with HCO3 minus. How does this transformation take place? We're starting with two hydrogens and going down to one hydrogen. So this is losing a hydrogen, which makes it an acid. And the product HCO3 minus, that is a conjugate base. One of the cool things about these acid-base reactions is that there is always one acid and one base. So once we've got one thing uh, classified, we don't really need to think that much about the rest of it. These reactions always involve an acid plus a base, never an acid plus an acid or a base plus a base. 
If water is the base, then H3O plus, its partner, must be the conjugate acid. One last thing that I want to talk about very quickly, um, there are three different ways that we can classify these Bronsted acids, just the acids. An acid that is referred to as monoprotic, mono being our prefix for one, and then protic referring to the, the proton, the H plus ion. A monoprotic acid is an acid that has one H plus that it can donate. So this name makes sense. Some examples of monoprotic acids would be HNO3, HCl, um, H2O, even though it has two hydrogens, only one of them is, as we say, acidic. Only one of those hydrogens can be donated. Also, CH3COOH, again, even though it has four hydrogens, only one of them is actually donatable. We also have some acids that can donate two hydrogens. Those are called diprotic acids di being the prefix for two. Uh, an example of that would be H2CO3, which we saw in our reaction down here. H2CO3 does have two hydrogens available to donate. Another one, H2SO4, which has two hydrogens. As we've seen in this particular chemical reaction, when you have a diprotic acid, each one of these hydrogens comes off of the molecule one at a time. So one um, hydrogen comes off in one reaction, and then the product, HCO3 minus, is able to do a second reaction to get rid of that second hydrogen. And then we also have either, um, they could be called polyprotic, which would mean many, or triprotic, which specifically means three hydrogens. And again, these would have obviously have three hydrogens available, like H3PO4. And just like with the diprotic acids, if you have a triprotic acid or a polyprotic acid, each one of the hydrogens comes off just one at a time.